Alright guys, in this video, we're going to put the seat on, finish up some other stuff, put a sick paint job on it, and ride it around. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so I was in need of some pegs on this thing, so I'll just show you what I did there. Took some square tubing. This is another a uh, little bit bigger square tubing that these pegs I got from eBay fit in. And I really like how those go on there. And you can see they're angled back just a tad. And then there'll be springs in there. And they can spring up if you hit like a log or something like that. Guys, 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 look what I got. Look at that. So I'll show you a little closer. But this, there used to be um, the lever that came down like this. And you'd shift about here. So I welded a piece on here and drilled a hole. And then you got these, I'm not actually sure what they're called, but I just call this a linkage right here. And it goes to right here. And this was some um, square tubing that I got cut. And then there's um, some pipe with the bolt goes through. And then I welded this onto there. And then you got that little lever there. So then when you push down on this, that goes like that and moves this one right here so you got that right there and i think that looks really good okay guys i wanted to apologize for two things the first one is i didn't video a lot of what i'm going to show you next and the second thing is i kind of told you at the beginning of the build that i wanted to do disc brakes well the plans kind of changed and it was a little easier to do this so right here is the brakes that i made and i'll show you so they're the kind that just rub on the tire. Yeah, not ideal. Um, but I'm not really worried about stopping. I know that's maybe the not the right way to look at it. But um, so this is just what I built. So right here, you can see there's a nut. This nut's welded. This one's just a jam nut. And what happens is when you screw that bolt out, it makes it closer to the tire. So I can adjust where it comes back to. So it comes back to there where it would it would uh, go back a little further if you loosened up that bolt. And then I put a grease zerk on here and this piece slides through there. And on the end is like my favorite part. I'll show you. There's splines right there. And so I can put this on here and I can also change the angle by going like this and move where it uh, starts so I think I'm gonna have it right there and so then when that's there and you push on here it causes that piece to move and push against the tire and I think this looks really good and when the pegs are there it's gonna be right on your heel so you'll be your foot will be here and you'll just reach back and push on it with your heel um, because if I had it out in front for one thing it might hit different things and the second thing is it would be such a long throw for it to make. It would have to go like so far where this doesn't have to go quite as far. So that's what I did. I'm sorry I didn't video all of it, but um, I think it looks really good. And now we can move on to the next thing. Oh, and also I forgot to show you the return spring, but you can see there's a return spring right there. In the next part here, I'm going to show you every step to how I made this seat. Guys, so I got the board and what I did is I just put some clear tape over these holes so that I don't get um, anything in the threads there so the threads stay nice. And then this is the foam I'm going to use. I got it from some old workout equipment and we're going to attach it with this silicone and you can use whatever you want to. Um, there's lots of different things you can use to attach your foam to the wood but I just use this because it's easiest and I think it works well. Um, and you 
can even not even attach your phone if you want to, but I like to do it because it's easier when you shake the phone. Okay, so I just wanted to show you um, kind of how I did this. So what I did is I started um, right here and I sewed all the way around. And then when I got back here, I stopped here. So I started about there and stopped here. And then I sewed these two together. And so now you can see it's still not together there. But what I'll do is I'll just fold that over and then I'll sew across here and that'll be together. And it'll make a nice seam on this back side. Here's a little update. Um, I'm really sorry, I did a lot, like a lot of things off camera, but I think there are things that you've kind of seen before. Basically, I'm just taking it apart, I paint it, and then I put it back together, and I finish up the wiring, and here it is. And boom, look at that, mint. Mint paint, I'm loving it. Painted the exhaust, have it run there. I have some wrap on there so that the battery doesn't get too hot. Hopefully that will help. I hope it doesn't overheat the head. Um, got the gas tank mounted up. And look at that seat on there. Looks good. Brakes, everything. Pegs are on there. And they have springs. Pretty slick. Handlebars painted black. And then this shows you uh, the grip and the switches are all on there. We have start. Look at this. I'll come over here, push the start button, listen to that, turns over, and then right here is your kill, right there, pretty slick. Wiring doesn't look super great, but we're not going for beautiful wiring, we're going for really fast. So, looking really good, I like it. Alright guys, so I got everything put on, and I got some fuel and uh, oil mix in there. And I got the carburetor on, an air filter, and so it's looking really good. And I'm going to show you one problem that I had. Okay, so this one problem I had, if you look really close there, you see there's no gap between the carburetor and this uh, engine case. And uh, that gap was even less than it is right now. And you can see, if you look at that screw, I actually had to sand down that screw so it would fit in there. And what was happening is right here, the bottom part was pulling out because it couldn't push um, down far enough there. So I was getting a vacuum leak 
and there was air being sucked in there so the engine wouldn't run correctly because it was getting too much air. So that was kind of a problem I had, but um, I'll show you where I'm at right now with it. super cool there's even kind of a haze in here um but uh yeah i'm really excited um let's get some riding in Thanks so much for watching. As you can see, it's pretty fast, and so it's pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching and staying tuned to all the videos that I put out on it. Um, if you want to see more, um, just subscribe and hit the bell so you uh, are notified when new videos come. And thanks again for watching. It helps me out a lot. So we'll see you in the next one.